Hello everyone, according to the USGS there were a couple of large earthquakes in Vanuatu a few hours ago. The first one was at uh, 1655, it was a 7.1, the second one was a magnitude 7.0 at 1819. Okay, pull these up on the maps, have a look to see where they are. Okay, it's just east of Australia, north of New Zealand, that's where Vanuatu is, and uh, these are the two quakes. However, uh, if you go look at the um, seismographs, I don't think that was a 7.1, you know, check this out. Seismographs all around the world have gone black. Not just for one hour, two hours, but for hours and hours. In fact, they're all still moving. We haven't stopped yet. Keep the scroll going. Doesn't like the scroll with the screen capture. Okay, Western Australia. That's quite, quite a huge movement there. Papua New Guinea, that's not far. Let's have a look at Papua New Guinea. Okay, you can get a rough idea of what happened. About 1500 around here sometime, we had the earthquake and the wobble. It's okay, you can see it's stabilizing a little bit. I can start to see this a more regular line coming in here. So this is about one, two, three, four, five hours before it really started to stabilize. That's huge. That's eight point something. That is huge. Okay, there were two earthquakes, admittedly, but still, <laughs> you don't see this sort of movement uh, unless it's, well, this is just a big earthquake, a pair of big earthquakes. But it's all around the world. The reason you can't feel it in other parts, parts of the world is because the movement's so slow, the period is probably over a, a minute. So although you, the ground is moving, or the earth is moving, you can't feel it. And people say that this is magma movement. No, this is not magma movement. Sorry. We're going off our axis. Not by much. But we're definitely wobbling. Ethiopia. Well, Solomon Islands. So I'll just pull up a one that's a uh, size graph that's a decent distance away from Vanuatu, and as you can see, uh, let me see. What about Cuba? Okay, that's practically on the other side of the world, and this is the movement you see on the science graph in Cuba. Okay, we started to stabilize about 10 o'clock at 2200. Maybe 9 o'clock, even at a stretch, say. So that's at least 1, 2, 3, at least 4 hours of movement. That's, okay, in my book that would have to be an 8 something. But. Okay, I've just updated my earthquake tides and alignment charts with the latest data as we have this morning. And uh, as you can see here, this is the earthquake that occurred in Vanuatu, in fact it'll be the both earthquakes combined there and we can pull up the log of energy for that to see where it is and it's of course a major spike. Um, did it occur on any of these uh, alignments we know of? Well, of course it's not going to be the sun Allen alignment. Uh, the moon Allen alignment actually occurred uh, two days ago, uh, three days ago and that was when we had that, uh, I believe it was a 6.1, there was a couple of 6.1s that occurred on that and then we had a few earthquakes yesterday, or the day before yesterday, and that was obviously, I, th I would guess, it would be something to do with the um, solar flare that hit us. And then today, uh, well, the earthquakes from about four and a half hours ago, I would say they were on the Moon-Jupiter alignment. And we know that the South Pacific is actually dominated by this Moon-Jupiter alignment, because if we pull up the charts for... Um, the Chatham Islands, which we've got here, and 
we don't have up to date data for that. It seems a lag by about a month. I have to get rid of this Ellen and off it. As you can see, uh, it's very consistent, it goes on and on for years. That Jupiter completely dominates the South Pacific in terms of the maximum sea levels. So if we have a major earthquake in Vanuatu, in fact, an earthquake in Chile, an earthquake in Christchurch, it's just not uh, surprising that these would occur on a Jupiter alignment a Moon-Jupiter alignment and exactly what happened today um, the Moon-Jupiter alignment would appear to be what coincided with this double earthquake in Vanuatu which was a major earthquake uh, really it should be listed as an 8 I don't know how they managed to get it down to a 7.1 but there you go okay stay safe thank you for watching